All right. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> uh Bell's trying to impeach Peters and I. Wait. Bell? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Peters and I have been talking for about a week. Wait, about what? From Sergeant. Um, Wait. because we felt like she very much doesn't support our vision for the PD. Um, doesn't have like the best attitude. Uh, Sky Faye was saying that like she's been going through a lot of personal things, and it seems like it's been affecting her like police work. Um, it's been going on for like since before we even, you know, came into these positions. And, um, yeah, yeah, she, what? Oh. Okay, sorry, continue, and then I'll, uh. And, you know, there, Peter, like, I was, I was originally going to Bro, what is wrong with PD? Place. I was going to put her at senior when we were doing the command restructure, but I thought, you know what? I haven't, like, seen her work that much. I, exactly. I haven't seen her operate as a sergeant. Not just you, I'm, though. Wait, sorry, um, I, I just got to get this out there real quick. I saw her. I. Okay, so I, I just need to get this out there because because the, uh, if I don't, it's going to be stuck in my head and I got to get this out. Is I met Bell pre-election by, by about two weeks and she was pretty absent then. So it's not like I'm not keeping tune who's around. How is she? Where is she? Like, how is she? I'm so confused. Yeah. Uh, she seemed rather approachable, but she hasn't. Has she even really been around in the last two no. months? So no. where the f coming from? Okay. And yeah, is on impeachment. Um, like the fuck? So. Yuki, think of the really seven months. Around. She was in the ICU. She was on LA, you know, yada, yada, whatever. Um, <sighs> and so I was like, you know what? I haven't really seen her like operate as a sergeant. Good. I will go against my better I'm gonna judgment put that, here. I'm going to fucking put her back in the I fucking ICU. Will leave her as a sergeant <laughs> for now. See how she does. See how she operates. And the only thing I saw was a bad attitude and her not really coming on duty and not fulfilling her role as a sergeant. Um, I don't know, honestly, what the fuck she does all day. Um, and so Peters and I were talking about for the last week about demoting her down to senior. And uh, we finally decided to pull the trigger last night. Oh my and, God. And you know, every time she speaks to Peters, it's very combative. She's just like, she, like, she, you know, she started the conversation last night. Um, I don't think Peters is fit for high command. That's how she started the conversation. And, um, you know, I, I was pretty blunt with everything. How do these people like, know okay, anybody? Tell me about Peters. Tell me about him. If you have such a strong opinion about him, tell me what you know. And you know what her response was? Well, I don't really know that much. I only know what people have told oh, me. Oh, fucking shocker. Jesus. Oh, my Lord. So I don't have know if she just, like, woke up one day and decided she didn't like him or, you know, whatever. Um, but uh, we, we did demote her to sergeant. Um, but she also told us that she's trying to impeach us. So, I don't know. We might have, like... <laughs> might have fucked up a little bit with that one because we um after she told us that she <laughs> wanted she was she was working actively to try to impeach us to protect the lspd from us and i said what Wait, what are we doing what that, that warrants protecting and she couldn't really give us examples um i i you know, we, we did suspend her. What is we needed what to in the fuck? Things. So I don't know. She might claim that it's malicious, the suspension. But honestly, how? No. Hey, uh, yeah. OK. Yeah. Te technically, she can claim whatever. Right. But it's just more like it, it's honestly more just kind of like. The 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 fact that she's kind of as a command member, she's not put, seeing through clear expectations that we have laid for her and we've had multiple conversations with her at this point 
about her attitude and about what she's doing, trying to come up with solutions. She says that I'm bad at communicating. And uh, I checked her on that and I said, that's interesting because she I have reached out to you every single time. I don't think you've ever reached out to me. Have you ever reached out to Peters? And she said, no, I, I haven't gotten the opportunity oh, to. My and Lord I said, have that's mercy. bullshit. Um, you know, I don't understand how I'm the one that's bad at communicating when I have actively tried to come speak with you multiple times, uh, yet you have an issue with Peters and I, yet you've never come to us and tried to resolve it. You just go and speak to other people about it. She went to Bones. Um, literally, we had a conversation with her. I laid out expectations. I basically told her, Chat, you know, this happened to all the captains. Um, stop involving just yourself straight with up. bullshit. Uh, we need you to be positive. We need you to be like a beacon for officers. This um, has been the bane of 4.0 PD. Immediately afterwards, she went to Bones, and I got Bones told us it was to like stir and try to get information. So, I I don't know, Nino, but apparently. They're going to go for impeachment. So I don't, I don't know on what with all grounds, due respect, like on, I don't think feelings, she knows what I that think. word means. I, th I think she's trying to impeach us on, on feelings. Uh, yeah. I, 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 is, is her mother like a Blaina or something? Because that would at least make some fucking sense. <laughs> like Tilly, you know, I, I she has a, like moments of like, like Blaine disease or whatever. And like it shows up. She's trying to get in in the check or whatever. But like, I, I feel like some of that's been cemented in. You want me to be honest, Daisy? I I, I know you weren't a. Well, actually, mm, I don't know if you would have been around enough to see this, but this screams what happened. The immediate thought that I had, I don't know why, it, is that this is what happened to Ruth and the rest of the captains. Is someone told me something that did something, and and therefore it's true. But let me not. I don't know, be a fucking adult and go try to get to the bottom of it myself before making an action on it. And it's literally things that I have said Ruby, to thank you so much now, multiple times. For converting that sub. Help people speak to each other, try to resolve the issues. I need command members speaking, like if they have a problem, go address the problem. Stop yeah. Stop fucking complaining about it and stop talking to everybody but the person you have a problem with. So I called Belle out on her bullshit, where she says she has a problem with Peters, yet she refuses to talk to him and actually try to resolve it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, so, I, 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 I this is just absolutely the like. It, well, she it, says she says that uh, I have destroyed Shift Two, and uh, she hasn't said, been around. Who the fuck and, is this person? Well, I think it's like all the transfers. You know, they have to justify their transfer, and the easiest way to justify it is. It's probably me. Yeah. Or Peters. Okay, fine. But this individual is a functioning adult put in a position of a command that's, that's member. That's what I told her. Right? I said, Belle, so, you're an adult. You need to learn how to deal with your problems. I'm sorry. Did, did, yeah. No, it's just... I, I, I. So let me get this straight. Um. Like, uh, unless she's hiding in the fucking mountains, uh, from my own observation... She was barely around pre-election, thus putting a timeline for about two months. I also know, having spoken to her three days ago, because I was actually going to check in with her, because for the first time in the longest time I saw her, and I, I think three days ago, I saw, like, I think she was, like, over here or something, whatever. I gave her a phone call, and um, I said, let's link up. And um, so, okay, so for the past two months, she's been nowhere. She's been MIA. Um, quite frankly, I don't really give a fuck what the reasons are, um, at this stage. Uh, I would know under normal conditions, under these conditions, don't give a shit. You've been missing. You come back. You, you now make a, 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 an opinion on your new boss based on yippity yappity in a fucking corner somewhere. You don't approach the guy, but you have a whole lot to fucking say about him to the extent that you your mind is like you know what i have enough information to conclude that i can impeach these people because they're doing something despite me having zero facts like what the fuck is this
You know what? I don't even know what she like. I looked at the impeachment legislation. I, I really don't know what she would impeach us on. This is like a classic, like George Bush moment. You know? Do you think um, the <laughs> only thing is that like I could I could see her stating that like the demotion or the suspension was like retaliation. Um, no, they and can't. I, I mean, I I literally it's not told retaliatory. her. It's, it, I literally told her when she said impeach because Peter's kind of asked questions. Said no, Bell, you do what you do. It's you do what you want to do. It's your right. If you if no, you want to take that route, that's fine. No, 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 like, no, no. no. I, 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 so so Peter's did reach out to me. I don't know what the fuck he was on. I'm assuming it was about this. Y'all should talk to Robin and have him as backup. Robin. We need to talk to a lawyer. Yeah, politically, really? Robin is your best choice for a number of reasons. Uh, and the biggest is he actually understands the nuances that some of these bozos are leaning on. And it's important for that, right? Um, you, you get what I'm saying? There's a lot of yeah. lawyers that can probably do pretty decent with a lot of things. But when it hits these nuances, you want someone like Robin to be able to uh point out the nuances of things i don't i don't even uh, know what to do with bell at this point you like, fire suspended. her no i mean but is that going to be retaliatory no it's not that's like it, it, listen if it becomes retaliatory this state is fucked like because she has openly said she is doing something that is inherently destructive to your ability to work it's not retaliatory if i owned a business and my employee came to me and said, you know, I'm going to go slash your tires, right? Or you know what? I'm going to sue the shit out of you guys. You get fired for that. There is no laws. There is no employee protection laws in Los Santos. I did check like whistleblower. You know, there's no whistleblower or anything. Oh, whistleblower blow was a scuffed legislation anyways. Th did you know it was there to get CIs killed? The way that it was written. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was really bad. It, 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 yeah, it, it's in subordination. It's, 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 that's literally what I said to Peters. I said, she's like, sh this is the definition of insubordination. Um, like she, and, and, and I told her, I, I, I was just like, are you actually trying to help the LSPD? Like, are, are you, are there any solutions? Are you doing anything to actively try to resolve the issues? Or are you just complaining? It's not how I don't even know how she got to the point of complaining. If she hasn't even talked, I, I don't how, know. Like why I did said, she say I that think, you can't I communicate? She, I'm so I confused. Think she, I think she woke up one day and decided that you know, myself and Peters um, were trying to destroy the LSPD, and she. But she never actually tried to like talk. To, I mean, she, like I again, like I reached out. I've always reached out to her. She's never actually reached out to us. And then every time I reach out to what her, she comes at me. She comes at me like some like sideways, and then I have to kind of talk her off the ledge. Um, the whole thing's a little weird, you know. At this point, I don't know okay. what to say. It, it, it's it's been weird for a lot of shit. So. It's been really weird. It, it, it's I don't know what to say, honestly. I mean, I, I mean, I'm I know what like, to say, but I'm not gonna say it. And then this goes yeah. across the fucking board for a lot of shit. Um. I, I, I fundamentally, uh, I think um, a lot of citizenry have forgotten that communication is the basis of of what makes the city tick, collaboration, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that there's a nasty disease that has uh, immensed itself into um, whatever the fuck this is. Uh, and this goes beyond a singular individual. It goes beyond just the department. It is, uh, you know, not wanting to confront problems in order to maintain a status quo of fucking dooming and glooming and bringing everything around with it. And so, uh, quite frankly, I would just fucking fire this dumbass. Uh, at, speak with Robin. He'll probably tell you the same thing. Fire this dumbass. Let it try to impeach. Um, and... If you did get impeached over it, that would set a a chain reaction of domino effects on impeachment. Um, because if you could impeach someone 
for restructuring shit. I don't know what basis that would be on to begin with, but rip every, you know, iteration uh, of PD after it. It doesn't make any sense. Essentially, it would be because I allowed people to transfer um, because I, I genuinely believe if they think that they're going to be happier in the other department, Yeah. I, I want people to be happy, right? And yeah, it, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry about that, I guess. I, I don't know what yeah. to say. Um. Wow. Did she at all mention, like, at least articulate, like, it, any it, facts? She, she said that she didn't think that the way that um, Peter spoke to Loki was okay, and we'd already talked about it multiple times, that she keeps bringing up the Loki shit, and I was like, and then the fact that she- Another guy that you never see. Fantastic. No, Lo Lo Loki's around. Loki's uh, around. It, it, Daisy, but... uh, like, maybe for you he's around? I'm also around, right? I see who's, yeah. I, like, I don't, I've never seen this guy at any crime related thing. <laughs> so but, like, uh, yeah, is he on duty? Um, have you, have you, uh, have you searched his name and seen how many arrests the guy made? Just thought it, I'm not saying, I don't want to know him a number. I'm just saying it's probably worth checking out. But, um, <laughs> uh, she brought up the Loki stuff and she was like, you didn't do anything about it. And I was like, oh, I did something about it but you're not privy to those conversations and I don't have to explain how I discipline a high command member to oh a sergeant. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. She, Ooh. she, Ooh. Uh, and Ooh. I'm sorry that I don't think that a fucking what is, is going to resolve this, like this issue. Um, this was a, this was a conversation that Peters and I needed to have, and I needed to set very clear expectations with Peters, um, moving forward, which I did. And you know what? Haven't had an issue since. And he's very clear and understanding of how he needs to address those situations moving forward. Um, Bro. that is what that needed. Yeah. But again, I don't have to explain that to anybody. No, of um, course The only not. thing I... I don't I don't owe anybody anything as far as that goes. Now if I want to say that, you know, I addressed it and I handled it and it's been resolved, that's all I have to say because that is literally it. It is insane to me the amount of entitlement and you're you were right. Like people are very much like me me me, you know? Yeah. Like and that's what I said to Bell. I said um do you actually want the LSPD to get better? No. Like, have you taken any no. steps to try to improve it in any way no. possible? She cares um, about herself and her friends. That's it. They, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just, it's, you, the, you're not, the shift you're not... between two, one and two is just insane. I have genuinely happy officers in shift one excited to come on duty everybody is vibing everybody's enjoying themselves just the vibes are so good and like we have so many officers and then shift two it's just we have a couple like really miserable people that are trying to make everybody else miserable they're miserable because mama bear got kicked out of the fucking house i you have to understand i was dealing with these people as an attorney for a while and having to listen to clients out there the pd in shift two was so fucking illiterate to the rest of the city that if you even brought the most moderate concerns, they would be brushed off and they would just be like, oh my God, my poor little baby bills. Like, oh my God, you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, go ahead and meg up there. That, that was the kind of fucking bullshit I had to fucking deal with on a daily basis. And, 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 and there weren't a singular incidence. There were multiple, multiple fucking incidents. And now when you fucking kick mama bear out of the house and she ain't got, ain't no got power, all the little kids are like, oh shit, mommy, mommy, I thought I could, you know, like you ever see in the movies, you got the fat little spoiled kid and then mom's just an absolute, like, like just annoying piece of shit. You know, kids like doing wild shit and the, and the mom's making excuses. That's what's happening. 
they're fucking getting kicked out uh, under the uh, fucking street and the fat kids now complaining you know a oh, fat kid can't go to the store no more you know oh like uh you know what's a better one you know with the with the fat prince you know with the queen or whatever she's some like evil fucking piece of shit and the little prince can do whatever and then someone else takes over the kingdom and now they're out on the street and he wants like all the fucking hundred dollar chocolates that, that's what's happening so yeah look it, it, this, this has been a long stemming problem which i think was pointed out the moment people didn't care for people on the outside the everyday person because if they're not going to care oh, about them who another, the fuck are they going to care about okay i forgot about this another mm. thing she brought up last night is she doesn't sh she does not agree with the way that i was appointed she doesn't like the fact that i wasn't in the pd and she doesn't think that I should have been appointed chief. Um, who the fuck really... is she? With all due respect, but then who the her, fuck okay, is she were... to say that? But then Peter's Stay in your her, okay, fucking so... lane. <laughs> if, um, if you were offered it, would you take it? And she said, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. I would have appointed her and she'd be gone for two months. Yeah, great, great, great fucking mental gymnastics there. You know what I'm saying? Like the fuck? Yeah, let's keep the guy who fucking sits on a mountaintop like doing God knows what. I don't even want to fucking know. Yeah, let's go with the person that demonstrably has brought more court cases uh, to to the courthouse and been embarrassingly, embarrassingly given, you know, not guilty pleas with like, hey, GSR must have gun. Hey, DNA on scene must have done the crime. Yeah, yeah, they, we want this guy, uh, uh, these people at the leadership fucking position. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, my original plan um, was uh, to have a chief make a side-by-side -side department and grow that out. I had identified pre-election going into the first week in office that... LSPD was so fucking cooked under um, Max's regime that made them think that they were just gangbangers that could do whatever the fuck and then transitioned to just you like complacency or just to finish it that okay. my plan was to make the side by side department and then let that department take over LSPD and I kind of kicked myself from perhaps not doing it because it's happening anyways because I realized it that long ago. Sorry. Uh, apparently, BCSO and Shift 3, they tax their officers. So you want to talk about a gang. Oh, I know. You want to know more? You want to? Yeah. Me and Peters. Wait, did Peters tell you? No, somebody else. Told oh, my me. God. It was Peter. They are no, I don't so think it was Peters. sad. I think it was Sky yeah i me and me and uh peter's linked up in the last like 30 minutes the last tsunami you know no 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 it was me and vic and we were just driving up there and we we're just fucking around like hey what are you doing up here like you know yeah yeah you're like you know hey you can come hang out with us or something you know because poor uh deputy is by himself up there you know and he genuinely yeah. wanted to join the lsbd this guy was so sad and he told us that they they strongly encourage giving money to buy interceptors and other things. That's what they bought. They bought an interceptor with that yep. money. Yep. And I was like, wait, <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Because if someone has power over you and you're expecting contributions to something that you do not have direct, like getting direct value in, that's... Um, that's extremely fucked. It's an abuse of uh, of, of, of a position, right? Yeah, I mean... And, and then I, we all went on to find out, you ready for this, Daisy? Mm. They're getting paid $1,000 an hour. Now, this may not hold too much weight for, uh, in your Can mind. Can they even afford all the officers that they currently have? So, yes. Um, me and Andy agreed to lower pay from 3500 to 1500 on day mm -hmm. one then and this is kind of where like the drama started and it's just absolutely fucking brain damage is 
I was dealing with having to handle pretty much the entire state's money because Andy just disappeared, right? Uh, I don't know what the fuck she was doing, uh, but she she was gone for like over the weekend, over uh, uh, for like about a week, right? And uh, she didn't really look at the finance thing. I, I don't know. And um, I was dealing with the state coming in and buying their tanks and shit while simultaneously watching a, a number that said like negative 55 million like a fucking week or whatever. And so I'm over here trying to figure out each and every slider. What does it mean? Trying to balance it out for the both of us to the extent that I did not even touch her sliders. I had the authority to. I just, despite it maybe having negative consequences to the entirety of budget, I waited for her. Fishing was paying an insane amount. Um, hunting was paying an insane amount. Like it was bleeding out like 8 million a week. To give you an example, the next in the, in the list was like 1.5 million for G6. That's how insane it was. And while doing that, um, I waited. I got imbalanced. You know, we got our accounts divided. And El Los Santos was still losing a ton of shit. So I had to dial things back. That's when I noticed that we were paying for all of Blaine County's time down in the county. And the moment I even opened up the conversation of like, hey, my county is facing an issue with this many offices being down here without getting a kickback, it immediately got aggressive. The topic never even advanced beyond um, what I just stated there. The mere notion that I need to consider, we need to talk about Blaine County being in the city immediately became aggressive. It never yeah. advanced from there. That's when I had to drop the payment down to $1,000. Not for any other reason other than to find a solution to make money back. Now, I want to... I want to because you're going to hear things because we're now at 70 million is that eventually the problem resolved itself over two factors I talked to Soze who talked to the state that split it apparently when I told him Blaine County just hangs around at Mission Row collecting my paychecks <laughs> the next day it changed because the guy went to Mission Row and apparently there was a bunch of fucking Blainers just fucking hanging out in Mission Row down there. I didn't have a problem with them being down at Mission Row. I never had a problem with them patrolling down here. My problem at the time, which was resolved between me and Soze, was that we were going into the net negative. Yeah. And if we're in, if we continued to go down that way, everyone's paycheck stopped. Right? I couldn't be considerate to five fucking people on duty when it's fucking us. Well, anyways, for those next two days, Daisy, I got so much shit for reducing the payments down by 500. And yesterday I learned that without a single peep, they have reduced it down to a thousand. You ready for this? Hmm. Blaine County's budget has been sitting consistently at about eight point five million give or take for a minute now which inherently means that they had the money for the interceptors that they wanted they're not paying for food they're not paying for repairs instead they're taking out money from their own cadets their own offices and buying shit none of which needs to be done my money's earmarked as soon as like like uh, doj comes through y'all getting free repairs Y'all getting free food. I'm buying your fucking interceptors, right? We're going to throw the fucking events. But my yeah, question is, I, um... why are you draining your cops? And here's what's worse. They're making officers pay for the cadets. I want you to... $9 million. What do they need it for? They don't have a deficit. They don't have sanitation costs. They don't have costs like the, the Los Santos County does. That means I don't, and you know bone so you know the pursuit unit yeah um bones came to us yesterday you know, it's getting to see if we split the cost for the final car mm. and 
I said, as soon as you get an LSPD officer in that unit, uh, I will. But at this point, it is only BCSO that is a part of that unit. So I do not feel comfortable on, you know, uh, verbal confirmations that LSPD will be involved with it. I'm not going to pay for BCSO's pursuit unit, but I will pay for a co-departmental pursuit unit. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm just going to buy you, like, I want to, you will, listen, I'm just going to buy you guys shit. You know what I mean? One, one moment. I got to deal with something. Hey, I just saw Klaus, the guy you need to be a pro officer for, twat. Can you try to get a hold of him? All right, thank you. Bye-bye. No, uh, she hey. didn't. Oh. Uh, sorry, uh, just, just, he might still be in prison. Uh, I think he, I think he's out actually, because he was only in there for 12 hours. So, uh, yeah, just go over the, you know, terms of his probation. It's on the docket and everything that he has to check in or whatever the hell he has to do. Um, and, and yeah, and yeah, well, we need to get that. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye. All right. Uh, we arrested somebody for murder of a government employee yesterday. Is that the TIT one? Uh, yeah, it was, a. Uh, Dana Blackwell oh. passed away from a shooting yesterday. What? Wait, Dana's dead? Yeah. Oh my god. Really sad situation. Wait, is um, that who was arrested on the highway just now? I saw I saw then arrest someone. No, 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 no. They were arrested on scene yesterday. They were sent up um on a hold, we got the pro the parole or the bail conditions posted. We gotta get the stuff posted to the docket today. Um, so we can get moving on that. Oh my lord. I, I think everything that's happening is good. Um, at the end of the day, um, I, 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 I hate that I'm having to even say, there's so much more I want to say, and I'm really filtering myself here is you need to it's good you're getting rid of this disease because this disease is gonna make lspd more healthy down the line uh because if it wasn't you it was gonna be somebody else and i think uh, you know holy shit i i i don't know i i think if anyone else had this position they would have folded and became another barrack I mean, so here's, you know, I was actually talking to, do you know Stevie? Um, mm -mm. You should get to know her if, if you don't. She's she's very lovely, very com uh, confident. Officer? Uh, I think you, yeah, she's an, she's a new officer. I think you'd really like her. She's uh, one of the shooters that Peters flew in. Um, I, I was telling Stevie this, that, you know, obviously, it's it's a little heavy when you yeah. feel like there are and and I don't want to make generalizations here. There are a few people who are very adamantly against what um what Peters and I are doing for for whatever their reasons are, right? But the best thing that I can do right now is continue to be steadfast and know that like I, I do truly believe the the direction that we're taking the department, the choices that we're making will ultimately lead to a stable and healthy department at the end of this. Um, yeah. And we just have 100%. to keep, we just have to keep on track, you know? Yeah. Have, have let these him, people let forgotten? Him do, let them do the impeachment, whatever. I'm just yeah. going to keep doing what I need to do. I have mm. a big to-do list. Um, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to take my own advice. I'm not going to get myself involved in the bullshit. They want to do the yeah. impeachment. They do the impeachment. I don't care. Um, obviously, I do care, but you know what I mean. Uh, please uh, speak to I Robin. Got, I got I, other shit I got to focus on. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to let them get in the way of that. I, I agree. And and I, I, I cannot emphasize enough that you should speak to Robin. I think uh, get him in on 
some level of retainer for LSPD related things. I know him quite well, which is why I recommend him that I don't think there's anyone more eloquent than him and his law firm. Um, and so when these sort of matters happen, it's just a lot of weight off your shoulders. Just be like, let me know what options we have here. Right. And, and I tend to do that a lot with Rob. Like he's not on my staff, but if I need a legal matter, I will run it by him. Right. Because All right, I'll reach out to yeah. Robin. Hopefully I can speak to him today. I, um, I'm going to be honest, like, obviously I don't, I don't like to fire anybody. I, mm. I, I want to try to find some kind of other resolution, but I don't know what else to I, do I, with Bell. I, 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 gen I genuinely don't. Here's the problem, Moss. And look, um, at the end of the day, you know, um, you know the situation better than anyone, right? Uh, at the, uh, but if I was in your shoes and you have some, like, just say, calling a spade a spade here, you have some rat fuck that, like, crawls out of their fucking hole after two months and is, is chewing on your fucking, on your fucking knee, I would step on that fucking rat. Because otherwise, it's going to start putting a nest down and... You don't want that nest to grow and some other officer getting affected. Because yeah, that is that it. is what that's you're it. dealing that's with right I, now. It's that a is fucking disease. What I told her is that her attitude is affecting other people. I think you know? the moment you fired Loki, you kicked a den of fucking rats. And one of them crawled out. If you do not fire, fire Loki, her, he just transferred to BCSO. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Transfer. What whatever. You, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, is, yeah, he found another hole to kind of nest himself in. But my point is there, is that you're a genuinely good person. And I think you're looking for some kind of, like, uh, redeeming qualities. And you're trying to save someone. But the fact of the matter is, by you trying to give her more rope to try to save herself, she may take that rope and strangle another cop, you know? That might be another week so that she's whispering in someone's ear. You don't think there'll ear. be any kind of, like... No, give it 30 days. Fire it to fucking 30 days. Come back. Fix your shit. If you don't send that strong message, you are sending the opposite message but that this it, was okay. Couldn't it be deemed, though, as some kind of retaliation for no. the... I don't the believe so, shit? but that's where Robin comes in. Because sometimes you're going to make decisions, right? that anybody can take anything to court. It's whether they can win in court and whether you have a good defense. Now, inherently speaking, that on, out, outside of the psycho, so, psychotic, like, shit that, you know, our legal system currently is in, it's trying to find itself out. Yeah, she could try to make that argument, but that's why you got someone like Robin who's already prepared, right? But, but... Even that argument would be so hard to make because she has demonstratively shown insubordination. Otherwise, people could, if if someone, if Tilly was like, you know what, I didn't like this coffee, I'm gonna sue you, and just you know, bitch in your good ear for the next month, and then I fired her, and she's like, oh my god, I'm gonna sue you for like retaliatory. No, 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 it, it could never work that way. No, no, no. Wait, you, it's not like you're taking away her ability to 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 come after you you're <laughs> yeah i know she can she can absolutely continue the impeachment um i would I, even i would even if i were you listen people used to here's if i if i'm a little bit more devious than robin right robin's very Robin's great. But if you wanted me as a legal guy, which I, I'm not going to do, even though technically I could, but just ethically I won't, is that I probably would be like, listen, yeah, go bring it to court. I need the last 30 days of your phone records to see what you were stirring because it's a part of my defense as the, like, garnering evidence of the kind of stirring you're doing. Yeah. There's a this is a very stupid road she's going down, quite frankly. And I don't think any judge would be that much of a buffoon to open up a Pandora's box like this. 
I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't sweat it. Like I said, don't take an, an action um until you speak to Robin oh, so he second. can properly Oops. advise you, but yeah. Hello. I didn't mean subpoena, but you could well actually it is. You'd ask for a court order for it. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, bye bye. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know. T talk to Robin. Let I would pose him some of the stuff. Obviously he's not generally uh works for the cops, but he's um objectively i think he also recognizes that what you're doing is good for the general populace which i i think is what everyone wants really um yeah so uh by the way a lot of new legislation coming through um i know this is probably the last thing on your mind but just so you're aware of what's coming through the uh, pipeline um we have hunting legislation. Oh shit, do you have any food? Uh, maybe? Yeah. Um, we expanded business hours, uh, revising tax law to make it uh, optional and uh, like a donation um, uh, to the county, which by the way, we've already gotten 3 million in donations. It's fucking crazy. Uh, That's with Unprompted, mind you. Um, um, fishing, uh, legislation, hunting legislation. It's very minor. Um, you know, the spear fishing and whatnot, the treasure hunting recovery, uh, and then the, um, the hunting stuff is specifically for, uh, the murder kitties in the oil fields because, mm -hmm. uh, people can't work there. Uh, Event Subsidy Act, which allows people to request money uh, from the county. This is separate from the PD one that you already have. So Peach or like whoever you put into place will be able to, you know, request it. And then the Gambling Act, which does minor levels of regulation around like private lottery, but is going to open up state run lottery. So you can gamble in confidence. So, um, yeah. Okay, that'd be great. Yep. Well, that's very exciting. Yep. Is there anything offhand that uh, you need me to look into? Um, no, I don't think so. I okay. just wanted to let you know about all the shit. Yep. Uh, I'll reach out to Robin. All um, right. Do you think I should put him, though, on LSPD retainer or in personal retainer? Because if she's impeaching us, <sighs> I shouldn't probably use do both. LSPD do both yeah yeah all right oh god all i wouldn't right. i wouldn't sweat it like i think it's gonna be i actually low-key hope that they do something like this because it's gonna be so stupid sometimes like people outing themselves this the way i've been <laughs> I think I have this next election more in the bag by just letting these guys do dumb shit because while they may have convinced their little, you know, circles, like I, I'm talking about like the shit I'm dealing with is while maybe in their little circles, they think they, they convinced themselves. I, I, I know it's helped me the, more than anything. You know, it's like, if you have a bunch of clowns in a circle doing crazy shit, they're going to think each other's funny, but those and outside of that I just look in and they're like what the fuck is happening you know what I mean yeah so um yeah I don't know I don't know where what she thought she was gonna get out of this yeah. you know yeah like I, I I really don't know um that is I, fucking I, wild I just, I just wish that she had actually tried to like make an effort to things positive within shift two i think there's so many things that she could have done to improve the shift and instead she just no. uh, she talks about like you know 
that I I'm hurting ship too, but in fact, I, I, that's an excuse. I, I think it's her. It, it's quite the opposite. I think it's the people within ship two, you know, are kind of self-sabotaging in a way. No, it is. And I don't I, think that they see it. Let, no, no, they, Daisy. Objectively, if she wanted the best for shift two, it would have started with, what are you guys planning? Here's where I have issues. And then you, she gets a response, and that's where the it, without the conversation having taken place, for her, th she is that is her excuse. The reality is she's mad that her friends are no longer in power, that her vision, her personal vision of LSPD, is now damaged. Right? She's not. This is no longer the LSPD that she wants, and so her excuse is that this is affecting shift two i don't even know what her personal vision of lspd would would that be her friends are in power that's that, it what that people don't come on duty and that people don't know how to do their jobs yes yeah. where the fuck was, was she fixing shift two where was you know uh, you know like it, it, it's the same thing when people kept bringing up ruby i'm like Listen, don't you fucking stand here and tell me that shift two in is a good fucking place when there's like goddamn no fucking cops and this person that powerful. Oh my god, it was Max. Max was gone for 30 days. Where the fuck was your fix? You know the best fix that these fucking bozos came up with? Fucking Barrick and Ruby came to me like like in the last couple days before a chief was being elected. And they're like, oh, let's go promote uh, you know, Vivian and all that. And I'm like, are you guys fucking dumb? You're going to go promote them and enact your vision on your last while you're a fucking lame duck and then think that's not going to give them a ne negative like that's not they're not going to that's not going to fuck shit up when they get demoted or there's a restructure or another chief comes in fucking stupid low fucking IQ self-centered fucking rats with moving goalposts that that, that they, 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 fuck them. I'm getting pissed just thinking about this. These are shit people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was, I was saying last night that I think I was talking to Avery and I was saying that, you know, when I came in, I was very surprised to see that basically nothing had changed as far as procedure goes in the last eight months, especially with training. And I think that the purpose of a lot of that at the, you know, when the LSPD first opened was obviously we were working on very with very low numbers um there was an emphasis on trying to get officers out on the street and so certain standards i think were kind of brushed aside um because they needed the numbers right and i think if changes had been made like four or five months ago when like they had more numbers um yeah Peters and I wouldn't be here right now because the LSPD wouldn't have been in the state that it was in. Yeah, exactly. I think, um, I think that there's a lot of blame put on myself and put on Peters, but honestly, like no. we're just having to react to what was already in no. place. You know, these problems you're, are already there. You're being scapegoated just as I'm being scapegoated. But here's the reality is that these loud, loud selfless, apparently extremely intelligent with like fucking alien technology uh voices you know um are are such a small minority that honestly no one gives a fuck about at the end of the day and you have to remember that yeah because if they did um they'd have more supporters than just eugene zuckerberg and conor mcgregor Who? Exactly. I don't know. The, the whole thing is is odd. Um, but we just keep moving forward, keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. I'm just going to keep um, putting my time into effort into the people who are putting time and effort into the LSPD. Yeah. And trying to lift them up and trying to make a positive... Um, police force um because uh, you know peters and i are, our end goal is that 
people get on duty they enjoy their time on duty and they're they're good at what they do it's really yep. uh, uh god i'm a monster for wanting that for the lspd no they're just continuing their doom that's all it is people they, it, it's, it's it's a thing like i told you this is um i face this on the other side right um you should have seen like the big dog guys holy fuck the energy that they bring there are so many people that want to see this city succeed and they are also individually facing doomers some people do not know what their purpose is in los santos anymore and this is their way to cope that's all it is businesses are facing it it's happening within gangs it's happening literally in every uh, aspect the reality is it, it, it's just like anywhere else you have to stay away from negative energy because that negative energy is only going to bring you down and right now all that negative is well is going into the dunes and even they don't want it <laughs> i'm going to tell yeah. you this I, i'm going to are you are you are your ears open uh no All right. Um. Well, that's the craziest shit I've ever heard. Yep. Uh. All right. I I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go uh, chill out for a little bit. Um. But yeah, I'll talk to Robin. I will uh get this sorted out, and you know we'll figure it out. All right. Easy. All right. All right, all right. Daisy. You take care. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you too. All right. Thanks for the time. Anytime. All right. 